Obviously, we're here at uh, Mayweather Birdo. I caught you uh, coming out of the fighter meetings a little bit earlier today. Um, tell me what that was like for you being in that fight. I mean, it, assuming this is Floyd Mayweather's last fight. Um, it was. I mean, Floyd seemed really relaxed to me. Um, see, with Floyd, it's hard to get a read on him because if you're talking to anybody else, you're thinking, "Dude, this guy's too relaxed. Like, he's not. You're not talking to somebody." Who, you would think is fighting in a couple of days. Like, mm -hmm. is this guy on? Is this guy got his game face on? Is he focused? But you know, with Floyd, he's never gone wrong. So right. you can't really question his mentality going into a fight. You know, if it was anybody else, I would be like, this guy's not focused. This guy's like, this guy's too chill. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. He's, he's, he's talking to me like he's talking about the Steelers and the Patriots game right. tonight and stuff. He's <laughs> takes timing calls, Isaiah Thomas. You know, like, yeah. You know, so I'm like, you know. I'm like, this guy's way too chill for my liking. But because it's Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather has never gone wrong before, you can't really criticize it because it's like, you know, this is, this is, he's always been prepared 100% for his fights. He's always come out the victorious one. He's faced some of the best fighters in the world and um, he's never gone wrong. So uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to say how, to, how I read Floyd Mayweather today, you know. But uh, at the same time, um, I'm sure he's trained hard. He's always ready for fights. So we'll see Saturday night. You know, you asked him probably, at least I thought, the best question in the fighter meeting. You asked him if he still has that edge. Yeah. Well, well, if you can, just kind of explain. Well, you know, because, you know, you make a lot of money and, and, and you live very well and your life changes. And also you're older. You know what I'm saying? Um, my fa I was funny. I was having a conversation with my father when I was in Italy. My father played pro, pro soccer in Italy. Mm -hmm. And um, I was, he was talking to me about the aging process and an athlete. And he was talking to me about, like, you know, it's funny, you know, because you realize I'm getting there too. And he's like, it's funny, like, when you're younger, you just want to take on the world. You know, like, I remember, like, you know, chasing a loose ball on the field and, and you're gunning it. You know, you're mm -hmm. gunning it because you, you got to beat the defender there. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're older and you're in your 30s and you're, you're chasing that same loose ball. And you gun it, and then you start to gun it, and you just slow down. And you're like, man, I'm, fuck this. I'm not going to tear a hamstring <laughs> right. over that ball. I'll get the next one. You know right, what I mean? It's right. like your mentality changes. Mm -hmm. You start to, the edge starts to slowly fade away, you know, because, you know, you're, you're satisfied a little bit, and, and you're just not as competitive anymore. The fire is not as, not as, as hot anymore as it used mm -hmm. to be. And it's hard to sometimes keep that, maintain that desire when you're a little older. And so I asked Floyd because if any if anybody if there's anybody to ask, it's a guy who's worth the money he's worth, and it's it, it, it's a guy who's made the kind of money he's made. Mm -hmm. And you know, he didn't say the edge was still there, but at the same time, he his answer showed me that you know he, he's he's ready. You know, he, he said you know what, it's not there like it was, so to speak, but. Mm -hmm. Shows up my fight night and he's preparing to do his job and that, and to me that's the answer uh, of a man who was a responsible man. You know, a grown ass man knows he got to get up in the morning and do work no matter what he, whether he wants to do it or not, whether he wants to be there or not because he's a professional. It, it, it's a it's a matter of principle, and I took that answer that Floyd gave me as he was, he dedicates himself nonetheless, edge or no edge, because it's a matter of principle. It's mm -hmm. his job to be the best he can be and, and to give the fans the best show they can they can get mm -hmm. and uh, and to be the winner each and every time out. That's his job. And so he's handling it like a professional. And so um, whether I knew how to take that answer, I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, again, it's a guy who's come out victorious every time he's, he's come out and come to fight. And honestly, I can sort of relate to that answer because as I've gotten older, again, I haven't made nearly the amount of money Floyd Mayweather's made. Mm -hmm. but, you know, sometimes, you know, your, your mind sort of slacks without you realizing it. You work so hard in the gym and whatnot, but your mind sort of slacks without you realizing it. And it's like, you know, are you going to take that chance to risk an injury, to risk getting knocked out, or to get the win? Mm -hmm. or, or do you pull back at times, you know? And it's like, it's weird. It's a weird feeling. It's hard, so hard to explain, but mm -hmm. unless you felt both feelings, which We've all felt both feelings. If, if we reach the top of this game at one point or, not, or another, right. you felt that burning fire where you're taking on everybody. And then you know, as you get older, you feel that thing fading. You know. Mm -hmm. So we've all felt both. So I felt like it was a question I needed to ask him because I'm, I want to see if he can relate to it because I can relate to it. You know? mm -hmm. do, do, do you think maybe he's able to still kind of, you know, put it all together and 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 train and and still kind of have that edge because because you know he, he it was kind of drilled in him. As a kid, yeah. I mean, he's almost like a child prodigy, yes. and that's all he knows. Yes, yes, and, and a big part of it is also your ego has to drive you. Mm -hmm. Some people think ego is a bad thing, but 
in, in competition, ego is actually a good thing, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just knowing what to keep it in check when you're not competing. Um, and I think Floyd's ego is big enough to where it still motivates him to be the best and, mm -hmm. and come out on, um, come out victorious on fight night because, you know, his ego is on the line and he needs to be the best no matter what.